got my bag of candy and I'm ready for my trip. As long as I don't pull any crowns out. getting ready to start our trip for the 8th Annual Nevada Adventure Tour. Uh, I think my dad and I's 7th trip total together, so we're covering our last corner of Nevada, uh, up from roughly Virginia City, Reno, up to the Oregon-Idaho border and back down, so 900 plus miles of driving once we get there. So <laughs> we got our drive to Reno right now, and uh, we got our party tonight, welcome party tonight, and then uh, hit the trail tomorrow. All right, we made it to our first stop on the 2019 Nevada Adventure Tour. Uh, we're here at the historic Gold Hill uh, Hotel and Bar. Uh, we had a nice 10 hour drive up from uh, Brawley, California up to uh, Virginia City. For those, you, for those of you that haven't been up here, this place is really cool. Uh, definitely one of my favorite spots in Nevada. Uh, a lot of historic ghost towns and uh, just old cool mining stuff. And up in the mountains, it's 80 degrees and uh, love and life. So. Hope you guys enjoy uh, this episode. We're showing you a lot of cool stuff around the state of Nevada. And uh, just tag along. Howdy, folks. Howdy, howdy. 50,000 pounds of compressed energy. Good, that's my one. I think we need these for the golf tournament. Have a little shoot off. Go again. Go again? Because my hand was there. Oh, is your hand was that like that? Like that. We're going to have a shoot off right now. Got two dollars, Dad. <laughs> They're ready to shoot! What do we shoot? Whatever. I think the only way they are. Is... Oh, dang it. Game's over, partner! He beat me. Dang. I better practice up a little bit. Hey, number one. I'm number one. All right, so we're at our hotel here, the uh, historic Gold Hill Inn. Um, let's go check out the rooms. I think they're pretty interesting. Kind of really old school. Kind of small, about the size of my closet at home. Got the color of most people's grandma's house. And that one's pretty nice though. Yeah, first class suite at the, uh, actually, and I think the floor is kind of crooked too. Are you walking downhill there, Russell? Yeah, that's so. Night one, looking forward to it. <laughs> the inside of that truck was so full of pot smoke. You could see anything. They just gave up. They just gave up. <laughs> so we're wrapping up the night. We, uh, we had our little... I guess uh, debriefing for what uh, day one and the rest of the trip hold for us. We picked up our t-shirts, our posters, and uh, you know all the cool stuff that Daryl puts together, and uh, did a little uh, reminiscing on old trips with uh, all of our old friends. And we got a couple new ones on the trip, so time to call it a night. Hopefully, we uh, have something to share with you in the morning. We'll see you then.
Yeah, I wonder who's got stories from last night. <laughs> the guy with the smart mouth over here, you know, the, the sarcastic one. Just some I want to point out he has done all eight. So is Sarah. Booyah on a count of three, and then we're on our way. One, two, three. Booyah! Let's go. Day one, driver's meeting done. Let's go have some breakfast. What did y'all do? Ah, adventure Alright, we just got done having breakfast at the old Canvas Cafe here. And uh, now we're going to do a mine tour, uh, going back up inside, check it out, kind of get a little glimpse back in uh, history, and then we'll be on the road. All right, so we're in the Ponderosa Saloon. They actually have the entrance to a mine right back there. So getting ready to uh, take a tour through it. Uh, like I said before, take a step back in time, see what it was like. And, uh, just have some fun going exploring. They found the first gold that they ever found in our large state. And the smart miners started walking up the streams trying to find more gold. Inevitably came up here and found a decent amount of gold, but it was really challenging to get to. Abe Lincoln said if it wasn't for the money that came out of Virginia City, we could not have done that terrible war. So that's why they call us the Silver State. It's also why we got battle-born tattooed on our flag. We became a state during the Civil War process because this tiny little town paid for virtually all of it. We got a lot of history to cover as we're down here, and I'm just giving you the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Come on, Jeff, put a hat on. I don't need a hat. I'm average miner size. <laughs> yeah, see? Have to over. All right, we're inside the Ponderosa mine, uh, getting a lot of information, um, really cool historical information about what it was like to work in here. Uh, we're learning that I'm minor size, so uh, at least I would have been back in the 1800s. I'm race car driver size now, so let's keep going and see what we can see. Black lighting is a historic mining tool. They figured that out in the 1850s with violet filters and candles. Yeah. Okay, I see light ahead. This is a replica of what the mines look like under the city or town of Virginia City. Up on the very top there, there's an X that marks where we're at. And this is what the mine, the shaft system looks like down below. Pretty crazy, pretty intricate. Yeah. Did you guys see the dentist chair uh -uh. with the, the, the foot operated drill? You gotta go see this thing. Foot operated drill? That sounds yeah. sketchy. You that sounds... Can you imagine? There's your bottle of whiskey. There's your Novocaine yeah. right there. Start drinking before I start drilling. It's foot operated. Uh, Can you imagine? I hope you're friends with your dentist. No kidding. That looks like the electric chair. I told Ziggy, I said, why don't you, let's demonstrate. Yeah. yeah. I'll start grinding on your <laughs> tooth. <laughs> All right, so we just uh, toured the way it was museum. A lot of old, cool uh, mining equipment and, and uh, just a look back in time. Uh, now we're uh, going to go get dirty, go get these raptors dirty, have some fun on the trail, and uh, go tour the rest of the state of Nevada. Sharp edge. Copy that. Dip at 3.7 and a cattle guard at 3.7. Been having some fun on some fast dirt roads and found a little 
historic spot here we're gonna go to ex go explore. So uh, let's go that way. Here we're at the Dorder Springs um, Rare Desert Oasis. We got all kinds of, I guess this is where all the wildlife would gather to, as a drinking spot and stuff. So hopefully we see something cool. And then they decided, well, we gotta do something with this land. So we built the dam on the lake. All right, who's gonna go jump in? Sir? Justin. I vote you. No, I'm a camera guy, I gotta film it. POV. <laughs> my name's Justin. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> Watch what my friend Ryan will do for us. <laughs> First ghost town at day one, uh, Farrell here. Uh, originated somewhere around 1906 time period and uh, getting some history on it. Pretty cool little place. Just gonna go do some exploring and, and uh, see what we can learn about it. They're ready to go, just a little WD 40, and let's go to work. Put my hand under there. Yeah. <laughs> Easily moves us to the next town. That's amazing. It's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, it's pretty rare to see them. I know. Like this. There, is there a hole in there? Or? Uh, really Hole on the other side. <laughs> Alright, jump up there. Alright, Justin, what do we got here? Obviously, the laundry room. Someone's leaving their dirty clothes around here. Not really quite sure. We're trying to determine whether this was someone's house. That's the shims washroom. Up, shims up on the roof. Or what we got going on. All right, well, ghost town number one is down, uh, the historic ghost town of uh, Farrell. Uh, it's pretty cool because there's actually still a stamp mill assembled here, which is uh, very, very rare to see. Uh, we got some other different buildings here. We found some with clothes in them. I hope they're not from 1906, but I wasn't going to try them on or look at them. So time to get on the road. Next stop, I think, is uh, probably Gerlach where we're staying. Hola. That's how we traveled back in the day. Bye. Thanks for coming. Viva. Stick it in there. Stick it in there. Stick it in there. What? Ziggy, look, he's on a mission now because he knows he bullshitted like, us into this deal. He's gonna go find that color fish. Yeah. yeah. He walked back here. I thought they were colored. It's like lukewarm. Oh. Like it's been sitting in the sun all day. Next time we come mm -hmm. up this way, I'll bring some plastic. Fish my my soap. hand's gonna like fall <laughs> off later. Ziggy, look all the bacteria in it. Bruno's Country Club, uh, Gerlach, Nevada. I guess the town of Burning Man Festival. So, oh no, it'd be a pretty interesting evening. So, we'll see what it's all about. Find the owner. I've already touched shit I'm not supposed to touch. You, it's one of you guys now. <laughs> I don't know, there's a nuclear waste sticker on the side of the I don't door. know if it's. If I'm going to touch something as much as things might touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. This is an interesting place. Let's just say that. We're about to get freaking stormed on. Look that way. Hey, they have monsoon here. Can you feel it? It's coming. Dick art. Where hat? Right there. Is this a dick in art? Yeah, there you go. Just 
cover it up right there. <laughs> Perfect. Front and center. There you go. <laughs> Alright, day two of the trip. I guess day three total after the drive up if you consider that. But anyways, uh, we had a probably pretty restless night in the uh, Bruno's hotel here. I felt like I was sleeping downhill all night. But uh, all in all, um, day two of the trip, we're going to go get some breakfast and... Uh, You'll see what today holds for us. We hear, we hear it's the best day of the trip, so we're gonna go explore Nevada some more. Our stop number one for uh, day two. We just had a lot of fun uh, running across the lake bed, got some cool shots, uh, saw how fast these raptors can go. Mine topped out at about 111.1 according to my watch. Uh, speedometer only said like 107 or 106, so uh, definitely a lot of fun. Uh, probably one of the coolest experiences I had being on such a dry, a huge dry lake bed. And a uh, fun fact, there was a land speed record set out there. Uh, the thrust master or thruster uh, two did uh, Mach 1.02 miles an hour across it so uh, we were a little far off of that one but we uh, we definitely set our own records in these Raptors you can see the water boiling I'm not up sure out if it here. makes a difference I don't think five, five degrees, degrees does <laughs> that's crazy all right, end of stop one. I saw some 175 degree water. Now we're going to leave our uh, name in this book here. We're going to put it next to Bobby. There we are. Let's go. nice and that mother nature blessed us with some good water crossing so had to, the truck needed a bath so we get we're giving it a bath right now and having some fun on these nice moist wet roads We just lined up for our a group pitcher. I don't know, we got a pretty cool reservoir back here, so thought it was a nice little sight. 
Got everyone lined up, got the group picture, got that checked off the list, on to the next thing. Alright, so we just jumped back on the road, and as you can see, we are on the Oregon state line right here. Almost 1,100 miles into our trip so far, so, let's see. Welcome to Oregon. Alright, we're at our final stop for the day, McDermott. This is where we're going to stay the night. Had a really awesome road coming down. Uh, Mother Nature blessed us with some rain, some water crossings. Uh, so it's always fun to be able to hit those, get some big splashes, and then run on roads where there's no dust and, and uh, be able to run close to other trucks. So uh, here we are at the Oregon State Line, and uh, we're going to see what this little place has to hold, and uh, hopefully it has some adventures for us tonight. All right, so we're going to uh, keep our theme with uh, room tours from the last previous two nights. So. We're going to show you what we stayed in last night. This is a good old McDermott Inn. I don't know if it's a little bit of a downgrade or a little bit of an upgrade, um, but the nice thing is they did have direct TV in the rooms, so there is an upside. Got to watch cut practice this morning, but uh, yeah, definitely slept with a few bugs last night. Um, I have stayed in nicer rooms in Baja at the lower grade places, not counting the Corona. So yeah, so we're gonna keep uh, with the theme and uh, we'll see what we've got tonight. All right, we're at stop number one for the day, uh, day three. Awesome little valley here. Uh, looks like it's a, a gathering site for Northern Nevada cattle ranches. Uh, it gets very arid and then all of a sudden you pop down in a little valley and there's streams running and green grass and flowers and, and uh, wildlife so all part of the experience. Uh, Northern Nevada is definitely different from what we're used to seeing down south but uh, really awesome to explore and uh, look forward to seeing what else the rest of the day holds. Oh, wait, there's only two no cheese. <laughs> what they all do. So we're just wrapping up with lunch. Had an awesome hamburger here at the uh, Paradise Valley Saloon. Have, we've had a great morning so far. Had a um, great trip up over uh, Devil's Gate. Uh, the road was amazing and back down. Got into some Aspens, got some awesome views. and. Uh, now we're going to start the second half of our day, working our way down to Winnemucca tonight, and uh, just having a great time and enjoying the company. And uh, we'll see what else is in store. Stay tuned. You know, we're postponing the inevitable. Let's just change it. Yeah, let's just pull it off. Change it. Uh, yeah. So here we are. 600 plus miles on the trip and we finally got a flat. Wasn't us on our time. So, right on the side of the road in the day of course and we're gonna be changing a tire. Let's see how fast we can do it. We got enough chiefs around here, not a lot of Indians. No, we're drivers. We don't get to change tires. Where's the co-driver? Hey, where's Allie? Get out here. Change the tire. <laughs> there we go. Forever hey, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, take a picture of this, man. This is be worth some money someday. Five-time mint winner. All right, we just got tire wrapped up. Uh, time to head into town. I think it was uh, relatively smooth for how many chiefs we had standing around, so let's go to dinner. <laughs> All right, so day three of uh, our hotel room, I guess, tour. As you can tell, our, uh, our accommodations have been greatly upgraded from the uh, previous nights, but that's all part of the experience of the Nevada Adventure Tour. So uh, definitely nice to have a nice room on the last night. Uh, I have a long day tomorrow, so we'll get a good night's rest and uh, we'll keep hitting the trail and we'll do our 600 mile drive back to Brawley, California afterwards. 
Okay. All right, day four uh, here in Lovelock. Such a bummer that the trip's already coming to an end. We're having so much fun, but anyways, uh, been a great trip so far. Had a nice hotel here. Uh, looks like we got another nice day of weather, and um, we're gonna finish up. We're gonna go Lovelock to Cold Springs, and then from Cold Springs, we're gonna drive all the way back to Brawley. So another 800 plus mile day ahead of us. Uh, gonna be a long day, but uh, well worth it. Awesome part of Nevada, and uh, can't wait for next year already. All right, we're at our first stop for uh, day four. Uh, we're here outside of, I guess, where the Paiutes used to live, the Pai Paiute Indians. Um, Daryl was telling us a really interesting story about uh, their history 2,000 years ago, 2,000 BC, so actually 4,000 years ago, uh, with them battling the Sidica, which were actually a cannibalistic giant, uh, I guess, human or a creature that used to live up in this area. So. We're gonna go do a little exploring. Supposedly there's a cave here where uh, a pretty epic battle took place and where the Paiutes actually destroyed the Sidaka. So uh, let's go check it out. Come on. Oh boy. Oh, Sarah, I was here as a little kid. I remember it now. You were here? Yeah. Oh, that patio. It smells uh, like a fertilizer, you know. This is burned down here. Sure, yeah, that's, sure. that's definitely burn right there, this whole patch. All of this. You can see the two different colors. That's. Alright, so we're inside the cave here. Uh, definitely looks like there was some char marks from here when the uh, Paiutes pushed the Cytokaws in here and, and lit it on fire, supposedly. Uh, but then there's some other really strange. Uh, wetness to the rock but the crazy thing is it's as dry as can be so uh, pretty cool in here they got a nice little pat viewing patio and of course we had to venture off the path uh, but let's go see what else is around here come on I'm part of this rock you're our new little friend All right, we're done with stop one here. Uh, as you can see, all the trucks are down below, fired up, ready to go. They're waiting on us, so let's head that way. I believe four miles, Cold Spring, Cold Spring Station, right there. All right, so we're here at another stop. Uh, this was the original Overland Stagecoach stop, uh, which during the, uh, the days when you would travel by stagecoaches from uh, east coast to west coast, this is one of the stops that you would either stay overnight to rest horses or you would change teams and, and you would actually get new horses hooked up and a new uh, driver, I guess, and uh, continue on. So pretty incredible. It took 23 days to travel from Mississippi to the west coast. Uh, there's tons of these stops all along the way and uh, you know really interesting really cool uh, glad they're still here for us to see so we'll uh, we'll keep moving on I think there's a couple more state stops along the way uh, before lunchtime Lunchtime. All right, we're here on our final stop. Uh, time to say our goodbyes, put air in our tires. Our trip's not over yet. We still got to go back, uh, I guess, another 600 plus miles of driving. But great trip. Uh, definitely an awesome part of the country. 
and uh, glad we uh, took the time and, and uh, had a great group to come up here and explore it with, but here we are, 600 miles, we got this. All right, we're halfway home. We found a little shortcut. Cut a couple, maybe cut an hour off or so, but anyways, we're somewhere between Lone Pine and the next next spot, I think is Kramer Junction, so. Still rolling, 1,800, 17, 1,800 miles into the trip so far. Should be home by midnight. Make it home for Harrison's birthday tomorrow morning. pack a bunch of food and you don't eat it. You gotta eat it at some point. All right, morning after uh, our trip, another Nevada Adventure Tour in the books. Uh, this was the eighth, eighth annual. Uh, went up to the Northwest and cruised around up there. Uh, really cool area, uh, definitely a lot different than what we thought it was going to be. Uh, very barren, very arid uh, terrain, but had some great roads on it, uh, great history, ghost towns, uh, a lot of ancient Indian activity up there, so uh, it was definitely something worth exploring. But we're home now, time to spend some family time and go on to the next thing. <laughs>